Hi, I'm John, and today we have a model from Atlas that we're going to take a look at. So let's head over to the workbench. All right, so here's what we're looking at today. This is an 89-foot, 4-inch intermodal flat car. This comes from Atlas, and it's O-scale. This is a two-rail model. It also comes in three rail. The three rail version comes in at least half a dozen or more paint schemes and costs $114.95. The two rail version comes in the same number of paint schemes, including an undecorated model. The undecorated one goes for $109.95, and the decorated models, like this one, go for $119.95. Now, as always, I have to mention, these are list prices. If you shop around, you will find these cars for less. The minimum diameter curve for the three rail version of this model is 072. The minimum radius curve for the two rail version of this model is 36 inches. This model was made to work with the Atlas 45 foot Pines trailers. You can find a spotlight of those trailers on this channel. Just search for O-Scale Pines Trailers and you'll find it. Your best bet, as always, is to go to Atlas's website and find out if they have the ones you're looking for. This model comes with two additional parts bags with a bunch of detail parts in them, as well as instructions of how to and where to install those parts. The paint on this model is as good as you could possibly expect. And I have to mention, when I pulled this model out of the package, my exact words were, wow, that's really heavy. This model is made out of metal. I'm guessing they did that so you can run it with no load. But I'm telling you, when you pull this out of the box, you'll be surprised at just how heavy it is. So this is the brake end. And the way I can tell that is it has a brake ratchet, right? These cars don't have brake wheels. They have brake ratchets, and the detail on it is actually very well done. Now, I wanted to show this other side of the car just to point out that there is brake detail from underneath showing as it rolls down the track. We're going to see when we look at the bottom that this car actually has a lot of brake detail. Here's a top-down look at the model, and you can see that there are a lot of different slots on the model here. That's for proper positioning of the hitches that it came with. And the instructions show you exactly how they go in and where they would go in if you want to install them properly. And finally, here's a look at the bottom. And I'm going to point out a few things. If you look, you can see there's a line that runs from here, under, all the way down. And then also from over here, and then all the way down. That's an interesting detail. And then the brake detail that I was talking about earlier. So if you look over here, you can see where the ratchet is. And then there's some reservoirs and valves and stuff under here, as well as some molded detail as well. That's all for the brake detail. Something else that we can mention while we're looking at this is that it has body mounted knuckle couplers, as well as nice heavy metal wheels. Usually for flat cars, I'll mention, you know, how it's a great opportunity to create a custom load. Half the reason I mention that is because you almost need custom loads in, with most flat cars in order for them to weigh enough to track properly. That's not the case with this one. It is so heavy that I am very confident if you put this on a layout and stick it in a train, even unloaded, it'll track fine. Anyway, I'm also really impressed with the fact that it came with all the extra detail parts. When you get it all put together, it's going to look great. So great job, Atlas. I'll see you next time.